you need a good service to print your circuit boards, I'm sure PCBWay will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCB Way can help you with many other services. Just go and visit there at their website and check all that they can do for you. And don't forget that your first order is for free. I was asked to review this that I have here. And when I got the box, I thought that I was going to be reviewing a charger from ISTT, which they normally have new chargers kind of like every week or something like that. They, they produce many different chargers all the time. But when I opened the box, I actually found this little thing here called the bad air. And then I realized that the product that I'm supposed to be reviewing is actually this. So today we're gonna see what this bad air thing is, how do we use it, if it's helpful for us, and maybe see if it's worth your money or not. In order to start talking about what the bad air is, we have to go a little bit back in time and explain or tell what ISTT tried to do a few years back. They had a technology called the bat go which was a piece of circuitry that was inside a battery, or I think inside the connectors of the, the balance cable probably, which allows you to have a follow-up for the battery and know the health and know how many volts the battery had and how many cycles you had charge on that battery and these kind of things. The big problem with that idea was that it was a specific brand of battery that could actually do that. And as we know, as FPV pilots, we buy different brands. We buy maybe brands that we know are good or that uh, they, they perform especially good with the kind of drones that we have, or maybe something that is in sale. I have myself three or four different kind of brands of batteries in my arsenal. So having ISDT getting or forcing you to have one kind of battery only was a little bit of a difficult game and people didn't adopt that. At the same time, you had to have a charger that was compatible with that technology and it makes things even more complicated. And to be honest, I don't even remember what was the battery that had that technology. So ISDT sold that technology to some other company which I don't know about that part of the story. And now they are back with this bad go, or sorry, with the bad air device, which is a plug-in. You have a device, this little piece that you connect to the balance cable of your battery. And now this device is going to communicate with an app on your phone that you have to download on, in your phone and you are going to be able to configure information about this battery in that app and then you can keep track of the battery. In this case, I'm going to initialize it. If this is a LiPo 4.2, 4S, that's good. Charge rate 2C, I'm gonna leave it there even though I normally charge at 1C, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it there because the battery and the device is gonna communicate with the charger and it's going to say, I want to charge at this rate. So if we use 2C here, the maximum that I can charge in this battery is going to be 2C. If you charge at three or four or whatever, you can configure it here, and then you're gonna have the flexibility when you're going to charge your battery. This charge rate, 30C, that's fine. The capacity of this battery is 850, so I changed that to 850 this is a gnb battery no this is a chnl battery and the password is used only when you're going to reset the device if you want to use it on another battery so i save this and we see here that the the this device the bad air device is communicating with my app and it's giving me information about each one of the cells it has four cells, the voltage that it has, uh, the charge rate and the discharge rate, and I can have a specific name for this one. And I say, for example, uh, CHNL 
850 H1. What's gonna happen now is that when I connect this device with the battery to my charger, the charger and that device are gonna talk to each other and I shouldn't have to input all the information in the charger before I do anything else. So, so now that I have initialized the device and it's connected to the battery, I can connect it to the charger, which again, it has to be a compatible charger with the technology of um, bad air. And if I connect it, then it's going to talk. They both of them are going to talk and you are going to get the parameters that you chose directly inserted into the charger to charge with what they already say. So you heard there the peep, which means that they communicate. The screen changes a little bit because it's not gonna let you do many of the other things and you can uh, see that it's a LiPo of, that is going to be charged up to 4.2 with the current that we chose before and then I can start charging. The idea behind this whole thing is, is actually interesting because what I what ISTT is trying to do here is to give you more information about your battery, kind of making your battery intelligent from a dumb battery. But you have to think of, about a few things. Number one is that you have to add one of these plugins to each one of your batteries. They are individual and they are unique to your battery, which means that if each device costs around $5 and you have 20 batteries, you have to spend $100 just on that devices. The second thing is that this device is for each one of the kind of battery, which I mean is uh, if it's a 6X, you have to have the 6S device. If it's a 4S, you have to have the 4S device, which means that you have to buy a range, a big range and have them in order to use everything that you have at home. Number three is the fact that as FPV pilots, we normally try to go down on weight as much as possible when we are flying. We remove the batteries of the GoPros and we try to select uh, parts for our drones that are light and light and light. That's something that is in our heads all the time. And now you're adding weight. Even if it's not that much weight, you're adding a few grams to your build. The device is not either super small, which means that now when I have the battery on the drone, I'm going to have to find a way to uh, wrap it so it doesn't fly away or it doesn't get into the propellers, which is most probably having it uh, attached to the, to the strap, the battery strap could be a way. I don't know if you could think about of removing it when you're going to fly, but then it's going to be even a bigger hassle, right? Because you have to remember where do you have it and which one goes to where and put it in and put it out every time you're gonna fly and you're not gonna do that. I'm pretty sure that either you're not supposed to do it and you're not gonna do it. But think about it, now you have this kind of big thing dangling there with your battery and adding weight to your drone. So what I'm gonna say is like this, the idea is good the implementation this time was better than with the Batco technology that was before because now you can use it with whichever battery brand and whichever battery you have, which is a plus. And I give that to ISDT. But you are still forcing people to add weight, add uh, money, spend money on these small devices per battery and now you have to have a charger that is compatible with the technology if you want to use it. So you are asking kind of a little bit too much from your user. If you're completely new, you're starting into the hobby, maybe this is pretty cool because you don't have a charger and you go and you buy one of these new charger. ISTT does excellent chargers. So you buy one of these one that already has the technology, 
you have just a few batteries because you're starting three, four, five, and then $20 is not that much to add for these things. And you have a very cool way to track your batteries, to find them, to see the health, to see how many, how many volts are after you have fly and all these kind of things. But if you are seasoned in the FPV and you have a bunch of batteries and you have already invested on chargers, this might not be for you, unless you are very, very worried about your batteries. Who knows? If you are interested on these devices, you can find links down on the description of this video so you can go and buy them. They, they are affiliated links, so you know, you help the channel if you get anything from there. And hope that this information was useful for you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.